Welcome back to Indianomics. I've been speaking with Lord Desai, uh, the Indian-born British economist and uh, a Labour Party member for nearly 50 years before he resigned, I think because of Jeremy Corbyn. Well, uh, uh, Lord Desai, let me come to the Indian setup. Uh, do you think that we will be able to uh, navigate with some of the strengths because a lot of uh, Western manufacturers would be preferring a China plus one policy. Will that mean that uh, our prospects of growth and investment are better? No, I think, forget China. Uh, when you look at India, no, I think India was about 40 years after independence on rubbish strategies. Uh, now, we have realized that we are actually not a hardware country. We are a software country. You know, we have this obsession about making machines to make machines and all that sort of stuff. Terrible. Then we went bankrupt. And uh, Nasim Rao and Manmohan Singh. See, now if you look at it, what are what is India valued for? India is valued for a fantastically highly skilled exporter per workers. Yes. You know, I was saying uh, the other day, uh, India used to export sugarcane workers to Mauritius, yes. to British Guiana and all that. You know, they were indentured laborers. Yes. That was, you know, the, the and, 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 and the cycles of those, those uh, exporter people were very economically accurate. Now we are exporting, exporting Sundar Pichai. Okay. Right? Sundar Pichai runs the biggest. Now they are wanting Indian people to run corporations, to be the technical solutions makers. So we have progressed. And I think we really ought to realize we are a service economy. We're not a manufacturer. Forget manufacturing, money can be bought anywhere. Then no matter. So you we don't, don't, uh, we don't, we don't you so know, you're not other, impressed by this PLI scheme that the government has to attract more people into manufacturing through provision of subsidies? I think we ought to stop all that obsession with manufacturing. Manufacturing can be bought. We are the most efficient service economy going. Okay. Again, my 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 analogy is think of this economy as 20-40-40. Up to 20% are good enough to be in a developed country. Okay. Okay. In Rajiv Gandhi's time, this was called Bell India. There, there were enough number of people like in Belgium who were all right. Yes. Okay, there was more than Belgium. So 20% is like Belgium. Yeah, yeah, 20, oh. 40, 40. A 20% rich Indians is 200 million people. Yes. That's one of the largest markets in the world going. Okay. Okay. People will sell their manufacturers here. Don't have to worry about it. Okay. We have a very good e-commerce structures. We have got fintech structure, and we have to get stop being obsessed about manufacturing. Okay. No, that's a fair point. No, I mean, if, as so a service let me, economy. Let me give one more example. My one more example is Bollywood. Bollywood has never manufactured film equipment. They have done great films. Yes. We are a software nation, we are not a hardware nation. Get out of the hardware obsession. The economics is about buying cheap. Now, let me take the other point that yeah. you have made, which is very important, this 20-40-40 economy. Yeah. Really, the, uh, the Indian market is only the top 20%, uh, and we have several economists, Arvind Subarman, all of them worrying about it. Can we manage a, a, a sustained secular growth of 7% or more with just this kind of skewness in the economic distribution? We had, we had 5, 35, okay. 60, okay. okay? We have come to this after, since 1991 to now. Okay. Okay, we had sort of 25, 30 years of growth, uh, having wasted 40 years. So, yes, India can do it, but India has to stop being obsessed about old-fashioned nonsense that we, we, we convinced ourselves against evidence okay. that India was deindustrialized by the British, we had to have our own machine making industry, all this other stuff. You know, everybody else in Asia, like South Korea, 
managed without that obsession. Okay. The South Koreans were colonized by the Japanese, but they still copied the Japanese model. No, suppose I accept your point that yeah. we don't obsess on manufacturing. Yeah. Uh, your point is that the skewness in income distribution need not, uh, uh, you know, be an obstacle to secular growth. Look, every other country in the world is capitalist. Mm. And capitalism works like that. Okay. Capitalism works on inequality. Makes the rich richer, yes. We want to overcome the inequality. Inequality won't be overcome by the state doing anything. Inequality will overcome by having economic progress. Okay. Trust capitalism. Forget about everything else. We've been through all the thing about socialism. Socialism is gone. Even China is not socialist anymore. Can we just concentrate on our strengths? And when I come to India, at this time especially, I'm very impressed by digitization, by fintech, yes. things like that. Now you see, what is coming next is artificial intelligence, robotics. India would be good at that. We, we have a surplus labor, but we will not get anywhere by fighting robotics. We will invent probably the best robotics going. And use we, it to create... Uh, yeah, we have people like that. We have very clever people. You know, for all these years of having IITs and IMs, now at last we can earn... It's bearing the fruit. Good on that. So let us concentrate on those things and not be sentimental about, you know, make in India or Antioda. Antioda will happen. Not by worrying about it, but by concentrating on, you know, let the top 20% grow to top 40%. You know, we had a series of interviews on India at 75, and we were all looking at India at 100. Uh, one of the worries is, yes, we are the fifth largest economy now, but if you looked at us in per capita terms, oh, no. we are 130th. Oh, no. so, so is it, that uh, likely to be an obstacle, or do you think... No, it's, again and again I say, because we wasted 40 years, in the wrong technology. And even now, with the BJP in power, rather, the manufacturing obsession doesn't go away. Somehow, we believe that only manufacturing, making solid things, is good economics. Nothing is good. Forget about it. Economics is about buying cheap and, you know, and I, selling I, I, the, I, 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 <laughs> So I think what we have actually right the now in states. India one of the most fantastic uh, e-commerce. Let me say one more thing. We had a very good industry. We had a world-class textile industry, which we destroyed. Out of our obsession for, oh, we must regulate consumer goods industries, we must invest in machine goods making industry, we destroyed it. Now, let's stop all that rubbish. We are old enough now at 50, to uh, 75, yes. to be able to do better. And Socialism is gone as a possibility. Fair point. Thank you very much, uh, Lord Desai. That's very important advice uh, to concentrate on services and software where we do well and uh, to remember that uh, capitalism has served the world much better. Socialism on its way out. Thank you very much indeed for joining us.